So I sold my stunning Ferrari 458 Spider and I told the world, well, YouTube. And you came back and you asked why. So here it is, the truth behind why I sold my beautiful Ferrari 458. Following the release of our 458 sold video, I received multiple requests asking for more details as to why we sold. In today's video, I'm going to talk you through the sale from two viewpoints, and these were the key motivators for the sale of our 458. Firstly, from the viewpoint of YouTube as a business, and secondly, from a personal standpoint. We bought our Ferrari 458 in October 2020, and in just under four years, we managed to put over 12,000 miles on our car. We bought our car with 5,150 miles and we sold it with 17,130 miles. And we had an incredible personal ownership experience. And during that period, of course, we managed to bring some incredible YouTube content to our viewers. YouTube videos, I believe, amassing in around 100 videos or just over or just under 100 videos. And those 100 videos covering items such as the general ownership experience, Driving rallies such as the Modball Rally, oh, what an incredible adrenaline rush drive that was. And of course our 3,000 mile European driving tour. We managed to take in multiple countries, England, Germany, Switzerland, Italy and France. Of course finishing at Le Mans for the centenary year for the Ferrari win, the first win in 50 years. What an incredible overall experience that was. In addition to that content, we've been able to bring you some how-to maintenance workshop videos. And in those workshop videos, we've been able to cover off aspects that is not just specific to the Ferrari 458. Those items will be specific to all modern Ferraris. And I'm sure, and, and I hopefully you agree, that that workshop series has been invaluable or will be invaluable to you saving money. I know a lot of our viewers have already saved quite a substantial amount of money by changing items such as purge valves and their own evap vapor filter assembly themselves. Of course, all of this means nothing without taking into account the people we've met during our ownership experience people I hope that we can now call friends and these people will be friends for life that is just incredible Ferraris open doors or you could say supercars open doors it's just fact so from a YouTube business standpoint we've owned our 458 as I said for just under four years having put 12,000 miles on the car when we bought the car, it had 5,150 miles on the clock, and when we sold it, it had 17,130 miles. And as I detailed in our sold video, we managed to sell it for pretty much the same amount we purchased it for, which is just incredible. That is just unheard of for a car, let alone a supercar. That's the power of the Ferrari 458. But in regards to YouTube as a business, four years of ownership for the main supercar, for a main channel supercar, is a flipping eternity. If we're looking at it purely from a YouTube business perspective, then we should have sold the car some time ago. But there's other things that come into it, of course. It's a personal car as well. Therefore, the decision was incredibly hard to make. So we're gonna be taking the channel in a different direction. And when I say from a different direction, what I mean is that we're gonna be changing our main channel car more frequently so that we can bring you more fresh, up-to-date, similar styled content. So we're still gonna be bringing you similar content of the ownership experience and of course, hopefully, workshop maintenance videos as well, but on many different varied cars as we swap our cars more like a more standard YouTube business approach. Um, and this will, of course, mean that we'll get a good, great personal experience as well because we'll be able to vary our cars but also from the point of view of the channel, we'll be able to bring you much more varied and frequent videos. So we're looking to increase our frequency of video drops to you as well to bring you more frequent updates and more frequent videos on different cars as well. And of course, we are going to be carrying on our video reviews of other supercars. We have got a schedule of incredible supercars to review for you this year, which will be starting very soon. And of course, when we purchase our new car, we'll be bringing you fresh new ownership content and ownership experience videos for that car. And of course, hopefully maintenance workshop videos as well which would be pretty cool working on a totally different car when i say frequent regular changes of our channel car from that perspective what i mean is 
we ain't going to be keeping the car for around four years it's going to be a lot more regular than that so probably we'll be looking to change the car around every year something like that we don't know for sure we haven't got a set schedule and when we're going to be changing the cars and we haven't got a set definitive list of the cars that we're going to be changing into and i'm sure you as viewers have an appreciation of the cars we'd like to bring you on the channel because we've talked about those and when we talk about those cars by the way you see it in reality you see my experiences live for example when i drove the pista when i drove that lamborghini mura or all the other cars that we've driven on the channel really my feelings and my experience is that we try to show you instantly on the video there's no retakes on that content you see my expressions and my joy of driving those cars and believe you me it is an incredible experience driving those cars so we have to say thank you very much to you for enabling us to do that although having said that the channel is in a financial deficit it's supported purely by me personally at the moment and it's in substantial debt when I say substantial debt, I mean from the point of view of camera equipment, sound equipment, etc. Camera equipment is not cheap. All that has been funded by my own personal wallet <laughs> at the moment. Um, and that's because, of course, YouTube, yes, it pays us some money, but it's pretty much bugger all at the moment with the size of our channel. So in saying that, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. And if you are, please give the video a like. Very, very important for our channel. And if you like our style of content and the style of content that we're going to be bringing you going forwards with the new cars we're going to be bringing to the channel please think about subscribing to be notified for all those great new videos coming forward now back to the video from a personal perspective now it was incredibly hard to sell a car I gelled with that car from day one from the day of collection through to the day it went away in the trailer and believe you me when that car was loaded up into the trailer and it drove off there was a tear in my eye I was very sad to see the car go but life is about more than just one experience and if I wanted to experience more cars going forward the car had to be sold it was just pure base hard fact I've really loved that car. I've loved the ownership experience. It's just been incredible from start to finish, from the beginning of actually collecting the car all the way through to the car being sold, as, I, as I've just detailed. I mean, what's not to love in the ownership of a Ferrari 458? It, in my honest opinion, that is a real marker going forwards. It's the last Pininfarina designed Ferrari supercar, and it's just a real marker in the ground for Ferrari design and brand embodiment. I mean, it's got everything. It's got the incredible Pininfarina looks, the last Pininfarina designed Ferrari supercar. It's got the performance from that incredible 4.5 litre, 562 brake horse by 398 pound foot of torque, flat plane cranked V8. That's naturally aspirated, the last naturally aspirated Ferrari supercar that will ever be made. You know the sound of that car if you watch our 3000 mile european tour you watch the sections where we're driving some of those european passes and we're driving through tunnels the incredible sound of that naturally aspirated 4.5 liter v8 is just incredible it just makes the hair stand on end if you were looking to purchase your first supercar or add a car to your collection rich reviews has already helped multiple owners secure their dream supercar we have a mix and match of services to help take the pain away to ensure a happy, memorable purchase away from the stress that can be caused by car research and dealing negotiations. Our mix and match of services include telephone support calls, pre-purchase inspection and car collection video. For more information, please contact me via a message in the comments below or at the following email address. Now back to the video. Having said how much I love the car and I'm sure watching the videos that has come across to you because that is a real honest, my own personal honest experiences coming through our videos. Having said all that, if I want to experience different supercars or different sports cars going forwards, the 458 had to be sold. I own that 458 outright. I'm not a wealthy person. I haven't got the ability to just throw money at a large supercar garage. I wish I could, but unfortunately I just can't. And I know, although a lot of you think that YouTube channels, especially supercar YouTube channels, make a fortune, we just don't. Small channels make hardly anything. So, you know, it's really helpful to us if you do click the thumbs up, give the videos a like. And if you do subscribe, that is really, really vital to our channel because you know, it's, as I say, it's purely funded by me going forward. We're not getting in cash loads of money into my back pocket. Is <laughs> You know, it just doesn't happen. We're just pushing the channel forwards in a slow, constructive way. And this is one of the ways we're going to try and achieve that by changing the cars on a more regular basis. And I said, from the personal standpoint, that has been very hard because seeing that 458 go, that was a lifelong 
ownership experience dream for me and for my son as well it was a it was a it was a dream car for my son and a dream car for myself as well and please believe you me just because i've sold our ferrari 458 spider that does not mean i've fallen out of love with a ferrari 458 i still check out my car for sale it's on the forecourt at the moment and ridden modern and no i have not been paid to say that that was in no way part of the sale agreement it's just because i had such a good experience with meridian modena i'm just passing that on because that's just what i want to do so please believe me i haven't fallen out of love with ferrari 458s and i will own another ferrari 458 in the future hopefully it will be a speciality hopefully at some point in the future and if i don't own a speciality then i think i still will own another ferrari 458 um, but it will be a different color be a different specification it probably will go for something like giallo triple o strato in other words the triple yellow color because i think that looks absolutely stunning on a ferrari 458 shape so what's the new color we're going to be bringing to the channel we're currently considering a few options but whichever car we choose it's definitely going to be a big change it's going to be bringing fresh new content to the channel and we really hope you love the new edition and the new content that we'll be creating and if you have really enjoyed the content that we've created so far on our channel including the incredible 458 videos i'll drop a link to the 458 playlist in the description below then we do have the ability for you to say thank you by providing a small donation in the form of either a super thanks or buying us a virtual coffee and these donations will go directly towards the future development of the channel i'd also like to say thank you to you the viewers for joining us on the journey so far and also welcome to the journey ahead